Hello and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In today's video, we'll discuss how to exclude your PyInstaller generated exe from Windows Defender, also known as Windows Antivirus. So first of all, let's discuss why we need to do so and what are the benefits of doing so. Well, PyInstaller and its exes have a habit of getting flagged by the Windows Antivirus. This is pretty common because First of all, think about it. The exe that you generate is basically an unknown exe. There's a, there's a thing called certification, basically, and when you guys generate one just for a hobby, you guys don't, you know, purchase that certification. Then these are normally pretty expensive. They cost like several hundred dollars a year, typically, and you wouldn't do this for your regular applications. Okay, you would only do this for commercial applications or something. So what the organization does is take your exe, they verify that it's a safe application, then they'll certify it. So when Windows Defender or any other antivirus encounters your exe, then they can check the certification and be reassured that it's a safe application to run. But this is not an ideal solution for everyone because your application is most likely going to be non-commercial or if you're just a hobbyist, you're just making small applications to share with friends or family. So in this case, you can't afford to pay that several hundred dollars per year fee, right? So instead, what you can do is ask your friends, family, or trusted clients to exclude your application from the Windows firewall or from their antivirus. So let's explore how to do that in this video. Then we'll discuss some alternatives and better options at the end of the video. Okay, so let's begin. First, we need to go find Windows Security. Okay, in Windows Security, click on Virus and Threat Protection or just click it from here, Virus and Threat Protection. Go down to Virus and Threat Protection Settings, click on Manage Settings, scroll to the very bottom, and here we have Exclusions. So we can see here that it says Microsoft Defender Antivirus won't scan items that have been excluded. Ex excluded items could contain threats that make your device vulnerable. Now this is why it's kind of essential that the other person be someone who trusts you, okay? Because they won't exclude your application otherwise. So just do this, click on add an exclusion. Now don't do file, okay? Don't exclude just the exe, exclude the whole folder which the exe is in. Because normally if you make a large application, um, then your exe, your folder, the generated folder is typically a bit big and contain and can contain like dozens of different files. Okay, so click on this. And actually, if we take a look at this in here, these are all the files associated with our application. So we want to exclude all of these as well from the check, not just the exe. This main two folder is actually where all of, all of this is stored. Okay, so let me just go here and exclude this folder, main main two, and done. Okay, now there's no point in testing this on my device because uh, the exe was compiled on my device, so I know it won't get flagged as a virus because the device, the defender, the antivirus is able to tell that this exe is from this device. So it's only really going to be noticeable when you send this to someone else, to someone else's device. Then that's where it's going to get flagged. So that's where the real problem begins. At any rate, let's discuss some better alternatives. Because obviously, for those of you who uh, want to send it worldwide, to distribute this application worldwide, and you can't expect your clients to exclude your application um, from the Windows firewall, what, what should you guys do? Well, first of all, I would honestly recommend you don't use PyInstaller. Okay, because there are better alter alter alternatives out there that have a much lower probability of getting flagged, like CX Freeze or Py2exe or my personal favorite, which has the least chances of getting flagged as a virus, Nutica. I really suggest you guys lo look at that. It has a bit of a long compile time, Nutica, but it is e efficient. It actually improves the speed of your application and the way it constructs the exe by first converting it into C by compiling it into C. So the way it does that, there's a very, very low chance of it getting flagged as a virus. So I really recommend you check that out. But if you really want to stick to PyInstaller, then what you can do is look at things like, first of all, don't use one file mode. Okay, there's one file mode and one dir mode. One dir is the default option, which is what this one was compiled using. Okay, that's why there's this whole folder over here with all of these files. In one file mode, all of these would be, would be packed into a single exe, 
this folder would basically be combined combined into this exe okay so one file mode the way it works it actually triggers the antivirus a lot more often so don't use that another another thing that you can look up is like encryption using py installer so um, you can encrypt your application before compiling it which makes it much harder for an antivirus to flag it so these are different things that you can look at if you're really insistent on py installer but again, I would recommend alternatives if this is really bothering you. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video.